Welcome. This morning we're in 1 Samuel chapter 24 now, verses 1 to 7, one of the famous Bible stories. We're at the beginning of it here. Let's read it out. Now it happened when Saul had returned from following the Philistines that it was told him, saying, Take note, David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men from all Israel and went to seek David and his men on the rocks of the wild goats. So he came to the sheepfolds by the road, and there was a cave. And Saul went in to attend to his needs. David and his men were staying in the recesses of the cave. Then the men of David said to him, This is the day of which the Lord said to you, Behold, I will deliver your enemy into your hand, that you may do to him as seems good to you. And David arose and secretly cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Now it happened afterward that David's heart troubled him because he had cut Saul's robe. And he said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing to my master and the Lord's anointed to stretch out my hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. So David restrained his servants with these words and did not allow them to rise up against Saul. And Saul got up from the cave and went on his way. Well, interestingly, there's going to be a discussion in the very next moment here with so between Saul and David, but we'll save that for tomorrow morning. Notice how it looks like we just saw God's providential guidance yesterday morning where suddenly, you know, David's almost surrounded by Saul's forces, but suddenly the Philistines invade and Saul has to take his troops and withdraw and go and fight that battle. So David is saved. Providence intervened. Now it looks, we put side by side with that, the author, the inspired scripture author, puts this case. So here's David. He's actually in the cave. He and some of his mighty men, they're in the cave. Saul actually enters the same cave, and he comes to do what? To take a rest, to take a nap, to go to the bathroom, or all of the above. But anyway, Saul goes into the cave, and Saul is absolutely at David's mercy. And David, and they, they see it. And what do they say? They immediately put it in David's ear. Hey! Here he is, it's Saul. This is the moment you've been waiting for. God has providentially intervened so you can now do to your enemy what you would like to do. That's what they tell David. This is your chance to absolutely kill him. Then you'll be king. It looks providential, doesn't it? That Saul's in the same space as David. David could sneak up behind him and doesn't have to just cut off a piece of his robe. He could cut off, cut off a piece of his head. He could cut him off at the neck, right? Easy to do. Nobody's stopping it. David gets up, and he goes, and he cuts off a piece of Saul's royal robe. <laughs> but he tells his men, we will not, we will not do this. So maybe the Lord did deliver. Maybe this was providence. But the action that the men wanted was take him off at the head. And David instead does this other thing. And we'll see tomorrow in the discussion, tomorrow morning, we'll see how that Maybe we'll learn a lesson there. Maybe why that's why providentially this happened this way. So here's a lesson for us, something to think about in our daily lives, which we try to do, you know, in these devotional thoughts. Even though something appears providential, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, or maybe it is providential, but it's not providential in the way you might be thinking in that moment. David's soldiers said to him, this is your chance. Kill the guy. And David did not see it that way. So be careful how we understand God's providential guidings. It may be that somebody's not being delivered into our hands so that they can be killed, right? That, I think David made the right choice here. But we'll see more about this as we continue uh, in chapter 24. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for David's merciful hand. Thank you for his care, his caution that not to act against your anointed uh, Lord, again, providence has come up here in this sequence of events we're studying right now in 1 Samuel. Please continue to give us help and insight, especially providence. Providential guidings are, are interesting because we can often see that definitely there's an intervention that you have done, but we've got to be careful, Lord. Help us to be careful not to misinterpret what you would have us to do in that providential intervention that you have made. There's a very important lesson. Thank you for it, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Not too quick to judge. And remember what always we find in the Bible. With what mercy you judge, you will be judged. David's right on target here. So we'll see more about this tomorrow morning. Hey, God be with you today in all that you do.